carefully. Almost there. Uh, careful! A uh, chair! Sam, why did you blindfold me? It's a surprise, Susie. Ta-da! What is this? <gasps> oh, no! All the balloons deflated. Probably I didn't tie them tight enough. Oh, don't be upset. I have new pants and that's great. No, my surprise is ruined. We can throw them away. I don't think so. Come on. Hi, guys. Today we're going to make a unique piece of art. Wow, so so. Uh, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Take it easy. First, we need to prepare everything. I decided to use four main colors and a white one for the background. We'll need to mix our colors with the acrylic medium in the ratio of three to one. Be careful, Susie. Do not add too much. Thanks for caring, Sammy. Now we'll add a little bit of water in each color to make it more flowy. Let's stir it properly like this. It seems to me that you need some help. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. It's always more fun to work together. Oh, I can't wait to start drawing. It's gonna be so cool. Huh. I wonder what Sammy's doing. Hey, is everything okay? Of course, I have some experience with paint, you know. What would I do without you, assistant? You'd be doing it twice as slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that. I don't want to make a mess or ruin my manicure, so I'm going to use these rubber gloves. We don't need much for this craft. Acrylic paints, a black canvas, and your imagination. Well, what about balloons? I wanted to give you the chance to bring up the main thing. Yep, guys, you can draw a really unusual picture with balloons. Let's get started, you. First, we need to pour some white paint on top of the canvas and make stamps with a bigger balloon. This will make a great background. When we finish covering the surface, we'll pour paints of different colors and repeat it all again. No need to rush, guys. This process is meditative and nice. Just enjoy it and don't think about how much time has passed. <laughs> it can help if you're stressed out or just tired after a busy day. Oh, it's so much fun! I wonder why artists use plain brushes and paints if they can try balloons. Oh, Sammy, you have no idea what can serve as materials for artists. Guess what one can draw with? Do you have any ideas? For example, Elisabetta Rogai, an Italian artist, is famous for drawing with wine. Such a great and creative way to use wine, right? There we go. Now let's take a smaller balloon to create a nice 3D effect. Here's another one. An artist from Baghdad, Othman Toma, likes to draw with ice cream. <laughs> he just waits till it melts a bit and starts. But that's such a waste of ice cream, Sue. It's for the sake of art, Sammy. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, give a thumbs up if you know the true purpose of ice cream. Now we need to wash the balloon so the colors are clear. Can we use a blue paint now? I like that shade so much. Hmm, why not? But don't worry, guys. All the colors are going to be used today. <laughs> so you can choose any order you want. Voila! Now we can work on the light blue drops. Okay, wine and ice cream are interesting materials, but they replace paints. And what about brushes, Sue? Oh, I know! For example, Tarinan von Anhalt uses the power of an aircraft instead of brushes. It's called jet art. I just checked it. They say it's very dangerous. It sure is. Maybe that's why your paintings cost so much money, you know? But there are nicer techniques, too. Natalie Irish draws pictures with her own lips. She puts on her red lipstick and starts kissing the canvas. This may sound fun, but it's really exhausting to do this for like three hours. Wow, Sue, you've almost finished the painting! That's right, Sammy. We are done with the pink. The last one for today is violet. Here we go. By the way, how do you like my story, Sammy? Impressive? It's a good thing we're using balloons for stamps. I guess using your own lips must be painful. Oh, I agree. We don't need so much effort for our craft, but it's still awesome. 
What do you say, Sammy? Do you like our craft? I say it's gonna not just be awesome, but super cool! In the meantime, we finished with the base for our drawing. Now, we'll let it dry to save this beautiful uneven structure. And you'll find some interesting facts. Stay tuned! Okay, guys, it's time to continue our work. Hmm, great. Sammy, bring me a black marker, please. It's here! What are we gonna do now? We need to outline the contours of our bubbles and then add some accents. Are you gonna draw by hand? No way, you wait! Take this cup. It will help to make perfect circles. Great idea, Sammy. Okay, let's start with this one at the bottom. I can explain everything myself. Come with me, guys. First, we outline the circles. Then add dark shadows and then draw white edges on top. Yes, Sammy, you explained everything right. <laughs> um, Can you please go get the... No need to ask, Susan. Oh, <laughs> always in time. Nothing is difficult here. We just draw a white line. And then blend it so the transition is smooth and nice. There we go. So, so did you know that this craft can be defined as abstract art? Really? Why do you think so? Abstract artists draw with colorful spots and dots and lines. They don't try to make it look realistic. <laughs> Wow! And the first abstract watercolor was made by a Russian artist, Wassily Kandinsky in 1910. Interesting! Now let's add some reflections to the bubbles to create a 3D effect. Wow, Sue, it looks like it's about to leave the canvas and fly away! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? Give us a thumbs up if you feel the same! Let's move to the other bubbles. We should draw bottom bubbles in the opposite way. Black accent goes to the top and the white one to the bottom because they're located under the first bubble that casts a shadow on them. Hi, Sue! I want to try that too! Go on, Sammy! Wow! Now you keep it up, I've got other things to do. Oh, would you look at him, such a busy slime. <laughs> I'm happy he showed me how to do this, though sometimes two geniuses can't work together in peace. Actually, that reminded me of one very interesting story. Did I hear that well? You called me a genius, right? He only hears what he wants. Okay, here's the story. Do you by any chance know the artist named Frida Kahlo? The lady from Mexico? The one who drew portraits and self-portraits with bright colors, right? The one who wore braids and bright ribbons in her hair and had a thick unibrow? Exactly. She was married to another great Mexican artist, Diego Rivera. When they met, she just started her career and he had already been an important artist. The relationship was complicated because of their bright individualities and quick tempers. Now we can work on the reflections. Are you saying that we have complicated relationships, too? <laughs> no, 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 that's just a story, Sammy. Because you're my best friend, Sue. I know. By the way, we're almost done. Susie, I think maybe more dark shadows under each bubble aren't gonna ruin the picture. Hmm, I agree with you. Let's add some more and improve the 3D effect. Wow, we're just like Jackson Paula. <laughs> I think we're a long way from the most famous abstract artist. <laughs> but the picture does look really great. Here comes our last brush stroke. Done!
today. Say hi, Susie! Oh, Sammy. Hi, guys. And I'm not skeptical. I'm just being realistic. Ugh. Ugh. Slick Slam is gonna prove you wrong! Get ready for a wig blue! Okay, now we have traditional materials, like the acrylic paints and a painting knife. We can create something magical with them too! Like a 3D painting! <laughs> Thanks, Sam. 3D painting? Do we need special glasses to see it? Nope, just your crafting skills and a tiny bit of imagination. Squeeze out the paint! All right, you've sold me the idea. Let's do it! Guys, check out this vibrant color! And the paint is so thick! And it's great fitness training! I can actually sell it as a fitness machine! Ugh, ugh. <laughs> but it works for slimes only! <laughs> anyway, let's use as many colors as we have! Wow, it's almost like a rainbow! Get ready! Slick Sam is gonna share with you a secret technique for simple 3D painting! Woohoo! I love the start! Now let's pick colors! Okay, I'll start with… this one. It looks so pretty! I'll go with another hue then! Look closer! It's the most important part! Smear the paint with the back side of the knife! Like this! You're doing great! Whoa, I guess it's not enough! It's alright! Just take a little more, like me! Now I'm ready to start! Wow, it's so exciting! Put the painting knife down and push it to the canvas! Got it! Let's smear the paint! Congratulations, Susie! It's your first 3D smudge! Keep going! Now I'm unstoppable! I want more! Okay, that's enough! Let's switch the hue! You can take mine! Let's push down again and smear the paint! Woo! And the Da Vinci pack turned our skeptic to the colorful side! It really works, guys! You should try! So it's time to change the color again! Let's pick a random color this time! I choose… you! Ooh, it's awesome! What do you think, Sammy? It's so creative! We should have done it a long time ago! Guys, check this out! We have one more painting on the palette! It's a new wave in modern art! And all of this would be impossible without… The, the Da Vinci, Vinci pack. pack! Our painting is almost done! So, I made you change your mind, huh? That's for sure. What's next? Guys, we're gonna try this magic cotton swap! Da Vinci would be jealous of it! Whoa, so cool! Let's move on! We're making the second picture! And I want to draw flowers this time! Susie, hurry up! I have to pick the background color! Give me a second! Hmm, maybe I should pick these with white petals? Okay! The background should match the white color! Great! Or should I choose the red poppies? Red? Okay, we'll go with red then! I've changed my mind! Let's paint pretty pink roses! Pink! I got it! <laughs> Here's the background color! Ugh, it was a tough jog! Let's start with squeezing the color out on the palette! Wow, I love this color! It's like a clear blue sky! The first steps are pretty simple. We'll just apply the paint on the canvas… And then we'll smear it using a wide, flat brush! Easy peasy! Oh, it's so relaxing! Try to stay focused, though! <laughs> Wake up, sleepy! Let's move on to the next stage! Finally! Yay! It's my turn to shine! Let me help you, superstar! Check this out, guys! Susie, a painting knife, please! Thanks! Oh, we're gonna use the same technique as the 3D painting, right? This time we're mixing different ways! Be prepared for a big surprise! Let's make paint smudges with the painting knife! Holy cannoli, Susan, it's mesmerizing! Slick Sam is here with a new commercial break! This 
smudge doesn't look like a flower at all. But with our Da Vinci Cotton Swab 2000, the painting will transcend your imagination. Move your hand in spiral circles like this. Huh, it already looks like petals. Cotton Swab 2000 is working! And today, you can purchase it at the lowest price. Sammy, we don't sell anything here, but share our crafting tips. Okay, let's enjoy the process then. Give a thumbs up if you like this technique! We have rosebuds, but no leaves. This won't do. Let's draw some green leaves around, alternating between big and small sizes. <laughs> Check this out. Sammy has been drawing some leaves too. Yeah, I don't want to forget my artistic skills. Wait, Susie, I have an awesome idea! Oh, yeah! Ah, ah, ah! Achoo! Oopsie, I guess I ruined the painting! Wow, it's a perfect idea! Sammy, you're rocking today! It was a mistake, actually. But it worked! <laughs> Another drawing is finished! We can open the gallery soon! There we go! Not till we test the smooth comb! It's the last piece from the Da Vinci pack! Okay, what should we comb with it? Maybe the painter himself? <laughs> no, nope, but you were close! First, let's prepare the desk. Guys, get ready! It's gonna be messy! By the way, where should I put the canvas? Use this stand! Just place the canvas on the surface! Guys, an easel won't do this time. The canvas should be laying flat. Don't forget about the plastic cups. And that's it! We're ready! Um, so now what? Are we celebrating something? Susie, stay focused! Those are for the liquid paints. <laughs> Sorry, I've missed that bit. What color shall we choose? Interesting. Alrighty! I've already made a palette. What do you think? I love it! Let's fill the cups with the picked hues. Okay, now we have paints and an empty canvas. Let's do some magic. Someone said magic? It's science, my dear! You should follow the rules! Please teach me, oh wise wizard! Which color should I start with? Paintificus Piggins! This one will do, Susan! Then blue it is! Now hold the cup above the canvas and start pouring the paint on the edge! It's not that hard! Guys, follow my lead and make a small paint pool. Draw a wide stripe with acrylic paint and hold the cup straight again. You're a pretty smart young lady! Repeat the same with that color! Easy peasy! Should I repeat it once more with the third color afterwards? Now you're taking my job away from me! Anyway, you're right, so let's do it! Guys, check this out! The paints aren't mixing! Let's fill up the canvas with colorful stripes! Oh, you've learned a few simple techniques, but those weren't enough? Then… I need them like… Then this smooth comb will rock your world! Susie, my assistant here, is going to demonstrate to you how it works! All you need is to run a comb through the paint stripes. This way. Oh, it feels awesome! And then you'll get this amazing result! That was mind-blowing! Let's double the result! Do it one more time! Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'd purchase the smooth comb myself. And you can purchase it too! Just call… Oopsie! <laughs> yeah, it's not a real infomercial. But you can easily repeat this painting at home. And get your own amazing result! Guys, let's see our mini art gallery again! Stay tuned!